I'm walking through my neighborhood tonight and I'm reminded by the street lights and the lights coming from the homes around here of, of just how much a little bit of light can sure change the darkness. And we, in our I Am series at Compass this past Sunday, we considered another I Am statement made by Jesus in the Gospel of John where he says, I am the light of the world. And throughout his life and throughout his ministry, we see Jesus doing just that and being that light in really dark places. The dark place of, of sickness and disease, the dark place of loneliness and despair, the dark place of depravity, even the dark place of a grave where death itself could not extinguish the light of life, the light of the world. And then in Matthew chapter five, Jesus just does this incredible thing. He shares his I am statement with us when he says, you are the light of the world. And he gives us a command and it's not a passive command, it's an active command. He says, let your light shine. Your light is not meant to be hidden under a bushel. A light is meant to be on a stand for all to see. And so where can you be light this week in somebody's life in a dark place? Maybe with a text, maybe with a, an email, maybe with a phone call, or maybe through a kind deed or a prayer. How can you be a light in this dark world this week? And where do you need the light of Jesus to shine in your life? Because he's only a prayer away. We'll see you again this coming Sunday as we continue our I Am series.